ground looks kind of cracked there. Well, well, I'm not walking on it then. Should I just smash it? Not even. What, uh, what are you thinking? There's a shortcut this way. I can probably jump off the top of this, maybe? <laughs> Back to smashing through things for fun and profit. Yeah. Lovely. Yep, that'll do. Look at all the profits. Much. They stepped outside, but he told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's... There's not a lot of trust between father and son at the moment. Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. <sighs> we must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. Oh, look at over there, too. A it is on. not my first time. Okay. Hold on. <gasps> this is one of the things these games do so well. They hide a ton of stuff. There's no way I'll find all of it, but... You're very well re rewarded if you do put in some of the time to look for it. Okay, so this... Yeah, okay. I gotcha. I was looking down there as confused on our perspective before. Me? Confused? Never. Who? You. Oh, me. Why do I feel like we're in an arena? Oh, because we are. Brother, there's no blocking without your shield. They need to recharge after you. So do I see that? Oh yeah, I see that in the bottom left, I think. Oh, hello. Oh, I love it. Freaking love it. Oh, there's more. He's a big boy. I could probably have saved this. And good night. <laughs> Wild. Raider Chief. I thought I said Raider Chef. The Raider Chiefs adopt the strength of the mighty ox for their filgia. And visually speaking, it's quite obvious. Massive hulking forms that can weaponize nearly every part of their body. 
should they throw their weight behind it. According to Raider tradition, chiefs are chosen through several days and nights of combat trials. Only the strongest of warriors are even given the chance. And by the end of the trials, most, if not all, of the contestants are dead, including the winner. Due to drastically dwindling numbers, I think they may have changed their methods. Uh, yeah, that's wise. Home. Brother, a word. Don't hold the lad's curiosity against him. It goes with being young. I know. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Spartalfarn, I bet there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us to... Enough. <laughs> you will go. Really? But if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search for good. All right. You won't be sorry. Why do I have a fighting tree here? Mm -hmm. With nothing to fight. Is that curious? <laughs> Could these be used for something else, perhaps? <laughs> Not that I'm seeing there. Oh, okay. This is our training ground behind the house. Nice, 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 nice. Kratos! Over here! Oh god. Sentry! <gasps> He's in trouble. <laughs> live and breathe. Is that Atreus? It's been so long. <laughs> How you grown? Uh, uh. Uh, yeah. Well, if you'll follow me, Brock mentioned you needed somewhere That's safe funny. to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. I'm gonna fix our portal. <laughs> After you, my friends. Very nice. The cleanest cabin in all the nine realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <laughs> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. Okay, before we do that, let's take a look. So I've got 1,780 XP at the moment. Um, let's see what we might want to get into. We've been using the blades quite a bit. I do feel generally more comfortable with, um, with the axe, but this requires axe upgrade level 2. So that's another thing we could potentially look at here. Leviathan axe level one and I think the level two is going to be something that we do at the shops right so until then we could probably get into some other stuff maybe some more melee activities our one to perform a leaping slash so we can close distance a bit um, drag the axe through the ground rip out ice shards that travel forward and strike repeatedly with high frost okay so run an R1, just hold R1 to drag the axe. While evading, hold L forward and press R1 to perform a double spinning slash. Okay, so lots of R1 buffs here. And while evading, hold L back and press R1 for a quick boomerang throw. Yeah, sure, I'll remember all of those. As you can see... We've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimble Winter, safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. Sindri's house. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Now, what was that? We actually haven't looked at the map yet. So, we're at Sindri's house. World overview. Okay. 
I guess if we get lost, come back to that. But we'll never get lost. Who's we'll kidding? Come in. Come in. Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not going to wipe your feet, are you? Okay, then. Your bedrooms are there. The kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? Alive? I mean, that's... What? It's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You were <laughs> my son disobeying me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was... Something we needed your help with. Shocking. Oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. How'd that get in here? What the hell is he anyway? That is my son. <laughs> well, what in all yarns me the happen uh, to him? We're huge now. He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that. I blame you. Well, come on then. Let's get him something that fits at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey. Yeah, I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivanting. You can know this. Mmm. Busted up good. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? Craft and upgrade armor, weapon attachments, and items using collected resources. View different shop services using the bottom nav bar. Shields available. Brock has enough materials to forge a new shield. Navigate to the shields menu. I only got materials to make one of these in the here and now. You bring me more resources, we'll see what we can do. Okay, so the stone wall shield. A shield fit for absorbing attacks and striking back. And dauntless shield. A shield fit for high risk, high reward parries. Now, oh, I see. Hold on. Shield bash. Double tap L1 to shield bash for high stun damage. Parry to deal stun to the attacker and empower your next shield bash. So you'd want to parry and then double tap, I guess. Time the parry perfectly to significantly improve this effect. And the stone wall shield. Double tap to shield slam. Launching enemies when fully charged. Block attacks to absorb the hit and build up charge. Man. Good options. Uh, guard break, yellowing attacks can be blocked when not fully charged. That's really nice. This one is riskier. Uh, it will force me to get better at parrying. So that's what I'm going to do. Here we go, baby. Kratos' ability to block is restored. Now it's time to get Atreus some new armor. Let's go back. Armor tab. Brock will craft some custom armor to fit Atreus. Navigate to companion armor. If the kid's gonna insist on getting taller, Damn. best make a habit of swinging in for new duds. Brothers brand vestment. Armor crafted with care by the legendary Holger brothers, said to be one of their finest works. Baboom, looking good. Looking good. Okay, so we have some waist armor. Wrist armor. We should definitely craft all this stuff. Um, so this one's better for strength. This one's better for strength and defense. Um, 
Interesting, this says plus two, plus four, but you're only seeing plus one in the top left. And then here, strength of plus five. Looks like it's only giving plus four for some reason. I'm gonna actually, I am gonna go more strength. Okay. Waste armor. Strength and defense, or just straight defense. I kinda am leaning more towards this. But maybe keeping a better balance would be ideal. Husk. Okay. Now, if I look at my weapons, hmm. Leviathan Axe, yeah, Looks upgradable. Like so, level two here. Our girl. I'm just looking Never at here. what's available. She's overdue for some up to level nine. Uses a frozen flame. Upgrade of Leviathan Axe successful, damage and stats increased, excellent. So we need frozen flames for these, but uh, what that's probably done, I don't really want to craft this. I need slag deposits for the shields. Special items, nothing, and then I could sell fortified halt husk cuirass. I guess because I'm I'm just not wearing this. What's the Found some now? items you left behind, tossed them in the chest. What would you do? Oh, without? cool. I'm gonna go look around, check out my room. Tough That's really nice. <laughs> I knew we'd left something behind. Okay, uh, let's read about Brock here. The Dwarven blacksmith Brock was the first ally we encountered when we set out for the mountain's peak. He and his brother Sindri made the Leviathan Axe for Fae, and this had been our common bond. Brock is blunt with a foul tongue, but there's a wisdom in his bluster. I find him acceptable company. Yeah, thanks. This place is great, Sindri. And how's life been treating everyone's favorite as your Vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> <laughs> Exquisite. Lovely. Good, 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 good shot. Uh, if I look look at these skills now, yeah, so there we go. Now we have the level 2 things available. We don't have any XP for it. Hold R2 for a brutal axe attack that throws the enemy to apply massive damage. Weaker foes are thrown to create an explosion of frost on impact that launches other nearby enemies. And then melee attacks in quick succession without sustaining damage to power up the Leviathan Axe and inflicts frost damage on every hit. Bonus to luck and runic while active. Okay. And press R2 during Frost Awaken, which is what? Okay, so while this is charged up, we do R1 to do a wide swing and apply Frost to nearby enemies. Um, frozen Spike. Aim and press R1 during Frost Awaken to quickly throw the axe to create a Frost Explosion. R2 during Frost Awaken to slash upwards with a chilling wave to launch enemies in the air and apply Frost. Okay. Okay. And then we have all these new R1 things to try. I remember in the first game, too, with all the move sets, it was a little bit like See? drinking you from a fire see. hose at the start. Uh, but eventually, you kind of find stuff that works for you. Hey, Not to say that you get into um, I guess this being is repetitive, but food. you find moves that nice to have options if I wake up hungry. feel good. Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. <laughs> so, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Okay, I gotta click those a little quicker. Uh, lore friends. Sindri, the nicer brother. On our journey to Jotunheim, Sindri proved himself a capable blacksmith and valuable ally. Now he's been helping Atreus in his search for Tyr. I'm unhappy this was done without my knowledge, though it is better Atreus was not alone on this path. I will attempt to spare the dwarf my wrath. It may not be easy. Hmm. 
The realm is full of minds, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. <laughs> well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader? Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, Brock? Will he help us or not? No, oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. Asparagations. This much sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're <laughs> used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. I've always wanted to see your home realm. Svartalfheim sounds unique. Svartalfheim? <laughs> Stupid Aesir name. We look like dark elves to you. Oh, right. You call the realm something else. Nidavellir, which is also the name of the capital city and where you should look for Durlin. Damn city so full of Odin fuckers nowadays. <laughs> It ain't hardly somewhere a self-respecting dwarf would show his face. Harsh, but accurate. Okay, well... I guess we'll be on our way then. You hear that? I hear Are those something. some kind of dragons? They're so far, I can't tell oh, how big cool. they are. You want to shoot one? Just kidding. We can't do anything with the... Uh, we can't go out on the branches, eh? Oh, I do have access to this. Hold on. I mean, this is obviously a horrible idea, but I'm going to do it. What are you doing? I don't think they're a threat. Also, aren't you way out of range? Uh, yes, I am, son. Thanks for pointing that out. We'll just need the Bifrost in the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a sodding <laughs> bastard! <laughs> Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now, release! Still unpleasant! <gasps> That's our cue! Come on! Short-term pain, I'm buddy. Coming, I'm coming! Russell goes, eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. We just... <gasps> there! That should do it! See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Case you take a joke, you old goat! <laughs> the Bifrost is broken. 
Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good enough. <laughs> I'll figure something out, but first, come on, let me show you how it works. Please do. Love a good tutorial. Aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. Yggdrasil Realm Seeds unlock access to new mystic gateways. Shine the light on Yggdrasil. Available quests to retrieve Mimir and travel to Svartalfheim. Press X to open the map. Press X while hovering over the wetlands mystic gateway to travel to Svartalfheim. See you later. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. Great. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Do you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. <laughs> and the grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck. Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck. Okay, oh, to the tavern. You feel that? What's that lad? Anything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> it's warm. It's nice. We can probably use his boat. Ooh, what's that? I can just get it free. Careful, lad. I definitely need to be shooting that, right? One less feathery spy. Why are these things so fast? You can't handle a couple of lizards? Oh, that's cool. They are a bit more annoying than I initially anticipated. Nice block. Oh, there, Atreus got in there. That's cool. I see we're already off to a lively start. Atreus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. You can head through these channels when you're ready. Once again, Dad was distracted by birds. What's the chain in the water for? That'd be a dwarven supply ferry. Said ferry appears to be missing. <laughs> okay. We'll have to keep our eye out for that. I suppose. Okay, well. Uh, what did it say about the ravens? Where would that fall under here? Bestiary? Yeah, nice. Odin has his eyes on us since we began our journey some time ago. Killing these ravens and blinding the Allfather will only aid us on our path. All right, we can do that. That structure looks, yeah. Slightly below stable. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have caught that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. Oh, see that? Cool. 
Or maybe not, depending. If you never asked mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say... Nice. Woman, guard the house. <laughs> I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. That is not a barrel. Yeah, she pretty much ran the show, I think. That's really nice. I like that. Okay, back in the boat, kid. We should have a thing where we can kind of like throw him off the boat to go and grab stuff like that. Uh, did you see that over there? Yeah, I've been seeing a few of them actually. So this area, if we go through it, he'll grab whatever. He's found two things of rawhide. I'm guessing the only spots where we can stop have a, a small beach. That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. Okay. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. <laughs> Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. All right, let's take a break here. When we come back, we will start exploring. Wish me luck. Bye for now. <laughs> if only we were in Midgard. That water would be frozen in a second.